Well, as you guys probably know, I live in the Los Angeles area, technically Orange County. And when you think of overlanding and off-roading, LA or Orange County is probably not the first place that comes to mind. No, it's not. Well, I would argue that there are many places that don't immediately fit the mold of overlanding and off-roading paradise. This place, that place, and oh, uh, this place as well. Now, another great example of this is Alabama, a place that I visited just a handful of months ago. And I bet you're wondering why someone from Southern California would go to Alabama in the middle of summer, no less, for an overlanding trip. Well, it's really simple, really. One of the most rugged and trail-ready trailers on the market is proudly made in Irondale, Alabama, by an outfit called Rustic Mountain Overland. And I spent a few days with Rustic Mountain Overland team, and man, these guys are the real deal and really impressed me with their approach to business. Now, I'll get to more of those details here a little bit later, but what I do want to do is dive into first is a discussion of one of the Rustic Mountain uh, rigs. That is the Patrol XCT. So without further ado, uh, let me give you a quick tour of this trailer so you can see firsthand how the folks over Alabama know how to design and build with the best of them. Now, as you can see on the screen, the Patrol XCT is, it's not a big trailer. In fact, it's just 144 inches long, 66 inches wide at its widest point. So this is, this is really a compact size, which makes it super easy to tow and maneuver on difficult trails. It's also a hell of a lot easier to park than the bigger rig. Plus the Patrol XCT weighs at just 1,175 pounds dry, so I could easily bench press this. No, you can't. Okay, okay, maybe maybe not, but it's, it's still a lightweight trailer, which means that you can pretty much tow this thing with just about any vehicle. Yes! Now, I'm not saying it's a good idea to explore the wilderness with your Volkswagen bug with this thing behind it, but hey, whatever works for you. Now, one of the things I noticed as I spent more time with this trailer is that the Patrol XCT is, it's really, at the end of the day, this thing is a purpose built for tackling some of the toughest trails. In fact, this little guy is stuffed with some really high quality components that make it really ready to rock from moment one. Now it features a Timberland uh, HD 2200 pound axle suspension that offers excellent functionality and durability while also ensuring a smooth towing experience. Now the trailer rides on 31 inch all-terrain tires that provide more than capable grip on varying terrains. Now the tires are wrapped around black 15 inch steel wheels. Now to improve the Patrol XCT on trail performance, Rustic Mountain Overland also included hitch called lock and roll, which lock and roll, you know when I say that, you know, the two things come to mind. This would make a great name for a ride at the county fair, or it sounds like it could be some sort of a name to a country lime dancing song. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so this type of hitch, it's a must have for hitting the trails because it offers three axis movement, including 360 degrees of rotation. So as a result, the hitch offers incredible maneuverability, smooth operation and enhanced safety over traditional hitches. Now the Rustic Mountain team also opted to add a texture powder coat to the frame to enhance the durability of the trailer. So, so when you're towing the trailer through some muck, it's really nice to have a peace of mind that your trailer is protected. Now let's shift gears and talk about one of my favorite features on any particular trailer. Well, it's either going to be a favorite feature or if it does, a trailer doesn't have it, it's a big buzzkill. But in this case, the Patrol XCT offers tons of storage space and that's surprising for being a smaller trailer. So for example, the trailer has a custom 16 inch tall roof rack where you can add a rooftop tent, a cargo box, mounts for a bike, kayaks, or whatever the hell other you know outdoor gear that you wanna have on top of this thing. And because the roof rack is so tall, you get loads of space underneath the rack for additional gear storage. Metal framing on, if you look at it on the left and right hand side of the trailer, it helps contain the gear that you have underneath the roof rack and multiple mounting points yeah, so you have different options for further securing your gear. So again, these guys really thought, they spent a lot of time thinking out this trailer. Now the storage options continue inside the trailer. Just unlock a couple latches on the left-hand side of the trailer and you can pop open the tilting lid to access a storage tub that measures 72 inches long, 52 inches wide at the top and 41 inches wide at the base of this thing. Now this enclosed tub is ideal spot to store your items that you want to keep dry, you know, your clothing, dry food and so forth. And personally, yeah, I would use this space to keep my collection of uh, Christmas snow globes, which friends, I take every place I go with me. You're really weird. 
Now, fortunately, there's a 30.5 inch uh, by 19 inch rear tailgate to access the tub. So you can quickly and easily grab what you need without having to lift up the tilting lift, which might be a little inconvenient if your rooftop tent is already deployed. Now, incredibly, there's even more storage available on this little trailer. Now, up front, there's a tongue box up there that features doors both on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side for easy access. Now, this space is, I mean, when you look at it, this is really perfect for a fridge or other galley components, or you can use it for electrical components like batteries and battery manager. Now, on top of the tongue box is a cargo basket where you can keep, you know, kind of frequently used items like recovery gear. Again, this basket is surrounded with metal framing, which mounting or has mounting holes rather, so you can secure all your gear. You know, like I said a moment ago, this little trailer is stuffed with a lot of storage. Now you can customize the Patrol XCT with add-ons that make it even more trail ready. So for example, you can upgrade the suspension to a Cruise Master CRS2 and add armor package to protect the trailer on the trail. Now likewise, you can add matching spare tire, which is you really, when you think about it, this is a must have for difficult off-road adventures where tire punctures commonly occur. Now, Rustic Mountain Overland also gives you the option of adding a custom bed liner to this storage tub, which is going to give improved durability for your outdoor adventures and gives you just the added protection to your collection of snow globes. Hey, if that's your thing. That's not funny. Heck, you can even finance the trailer through Rustic Mountain, so it's truly as cliche as it sounds, it's a one-stop shop experience. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Rustic Mountain Overland is headquartered in Irondale, Alabama, where they build each and every one of these trailers. So aside from offering made in the USA quality, Rustic Mountain Overland is a family owned and operated business. And why do I keep bringing this up? Well, in my opinion, I think family run businesses, you know, they're a dying breed, which is a, which is a shame because when you look at Family-run businesses, you know, they have a much more higher emotional interest in your satisfaction as a consumer versus the somebody that's just punching in nine to five and so forth. So the fact that these guys are family-run business and they're building these things right in our backyard, heck yeah. And as I shared with you earlier, when I visited Rustic Mountain Overland, I was really welcomed with open arms. So these guys are the real deal. You're not going to find a nicer group of people. Really, at the end of the day, you're not going to find a more knowledgeable team. Sure. You know, let's be real here. Alabama might not be on the top of your overlanding list, but these folks have spent their lives exploring the great outdoors, and it shows with the design, the functionality, and the build quality of the Patrol XCT, and for that matter, their other trailers. Now, long story short, if you're on the market for a compact, lightweight trailer that you can take off-road on your off-road adventures, rather, give the Rustic Mountain Overland Patrol XCT a good long look. Now, what I will do is I'll put a link in the description below if you want to go directly to it. And actually, one thing I do want to point out here is the uh, the trailer that you've been seeing in this video here, that is owned by Jesse Houston. Now, this is, I got to bring this guy up because I was talking about when I came here, I was, you know, open arms, welcomed, and it was just, it was really I walked away with just a tremendous fulfilled feeling. Not only did I eat like a champ, which I'm going to share with you about here momentarily, but one of the owners of uh, Rustic Mountain Orland, he taught me how to uh, fly fish. Uh, I grew, many of you know me, I grew up on a lake in upstate New York and I grew up around fishing. I've always wanted to learn how to fly fish. Never, never had the opportunity to learn how, you know, one of the uh, owners here with Rustic Mountain Orland taught me how to fly fish, which is it's pretty awesome. Now, let's talk about the food here. So the moment I arrived here, oh my goodness. So the, this trailer here that you see here, uh, as I mentioned a moment ago, is actually owned by Jesse Houston. Now, this is a Mississippi-based chef and uh, restaurateur known for his modern kind of creative, playful cuisine. And incidentally, he's the talent behind OverlandChef.com. Now, here's where things get really, really interesting. The first day that I got there, I literally got off the plane, made it out to location. Dinner. Now, I had no idea what we were going to be doing for, for eating wise. The, the first meal, it was an avocado mango salad with grilled quail and axis venison served with garlic, lime, rice, and marinated cucumbers in chili, vignette, cilantro, basil, mint. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. This is like full on five star Michelin, two star quality food here. Then the following day, we had pork rack with porcini butter and chimichurri, pan seared halloumi cheese with heirloom tomatoes, grilled peaches, which, guys, I had no idea you can grill peaches, fig vinegar, cucumbers, basil, and pea tendrons. Then 
Southern style black eyed peas. Man, that meal right there, I have to say that was my favorite. That was absolutely epic. So I'll say this here, you ever run into this Jesse guy or know that he's gonna be cooking someplace, you gotta tune in. This guy is the real deal. His, his cuisines or his meals there rather, Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, but I'm getting hungry just talking about this here. All right, getting back on topic here. Friends, it's always a pleasure seeing you guys. If you found some value with this video, do me a favor, crush that like button. If you have any questions, huh, leave me a comment down below. I would love to chat with you further. But friends, that is it for me. So I'm gonna be shutting up the cameras and hey, I'll see you next time.